so first i just wanted to show you guys things that i'm going to be using for these clothes that i'm going to be making this week uh first thing first is the fabric i'm going to be using this beautiful shui shui fabric and um and i got about three meters of this fabric it's like a uh, burgundy with um green and sort of like gold flowers which is super cute and yeah i got about three meters and so i've already made my patterns so these are the patterns that i'm going to be making i'm going to be making about three items so first it's going to be shorts here is my pattern for the shorts i have um the pocket which can fold and i have the front piece and the back piece so this is going to be my pattern for the shorts i'm also going to make a waistband which is going to be about two inches wide and i will do that once i am ready to cut the fabric so these are my main patterns that i'm going to be used for the shorts i'm just gonna put this away the second item that i'm going to be making for myself is going to be like a sleeveless blazer kimono thingy but it's gonna have like a collar so i have the back piece of the pattern which is on fold so i'm gonna cut one on fold and i have the second piece which is going to be um i'm going to cut two pieces of this so i've already indicated everything i actually just copied from my basic bodies and i added about five inches down here because i want it to be longer i added about five inches from the hip line going down and i also added about two inches which is going to be my hem allowance because with the blazer you want that thick hem down here so that's the front and the back so the back is just basic as you can see for the front panel here it's not like a straight center line center front line it's kind of like tilt to the side because it's a blazer and i'm gonna have a collar so the next piece is this piece which is going to be my collar i went with a traditional round collar i also use the same collar for my blazer dress and i made it with the yellow vendor fabric and it was really really cute so i'm going to do the same collar because it looked amazing and with that i have like a in uh, a back facing which is about seven centimeters wide and i'm gonna cut this on fold as well also the collar i'm gonna cut it on fold because i don't want the back seam so i'm gonna cut two of these on fold and i'm gonna cut one of these on fold and i just indicated like the grain line but with this fabric it doesn't really matter but for that stripe for that vendor fabric that i made um the blazer dress i had to follow the grain line like this because it has stripes and for this it doesn't really matter no one's gonna see it so it's the facing it's the back facing and this is the front facing which is also seven centimeters so this is the front part which matches here so it's going to be like this and then go down but going down here it's gonna end about here i didn't include the two inches hem allowance because this is going to be folded inwards so yeah so that's my pattern for my blazer and then the third pattern is going to be <laughs> little rain stress so last week i posted this picture where i made a um, sort of like a dungaree dress for her using the same fabric that i made my um blazer dress in it was the yellow vendor fabric so if you do follow me on instagram you probably saw it so with that so this is the pattern that i used to make that dress i have four pieces so i have the front piece let me do this i have this front piece which i'm gonna cut two of them on fold so i'm gonna cut two of these one fabric and one lining i'll probably use like a black lining 
it's going to be this lining I'm gonna use like a black lining um, for the top this is the back piece which is also gonna be cut on fold so it's going to be on fold here I indicated the fold line and I'm gonna have like in one inch elastic here which I'm going to fold in maybe fold again so I'm gonna insert like an elastic here which is this one here I'm gonna insert the elastic here and I think I measured about eight inches for hair or less I'll, I'll show you when I saw so this is the back piece and this is the front piece which is going to be attached to the front bodice so and this is also going to be cut and fold but with the front piece I'm not gonna insert the elastic I'm going to gather the skirt here on top so that it fits this and this so this is about the same size and I also have like a strap which I'm going to also cut two of them and I'm gonna cut it on fold but with a strap I'm going to resize it because I'm going to use this little plastic um, buckles last time when I made this dress I used like a metal buckles and I found that it wasn't comfortable especially for the baby it, I kept on looking at her thinking maybe it's gonna scratch her or anything but it was like a trench coat buckle so they were for adults I'm going to use this little plastic ones this time so with the belt I'm probably gonna cut it I will measure with the buckles actually and then I first cut about this long and then I'm also gonna cut maybe about two inches of the belt to attach the buckles on the front pieces on the front piece actually somewhere here this is the buckles I'm going to use for a dress and I have a zipper that I'm going to insert on my shorts I actually have two zippers I have the short one which is about 15 centimeters and this one is a 40 centimeters long I couldn't find anything that was a little bit maybe like 30 or 25 so I think I'm gonna end up using this one I'm gonna end up using this one it's better to use something longer and then trim maybe do like a zigzag and then cut it than having something which is too short because I think even for my last shots I used something longer and I had to trim it and then you're gonna need a matching thread I have a matching thread and last but not least you're gonna need your fabric scissors so I'm going to go ahead and cut all the pattern pieces and then I will do the videos I'll probably do like three videos of these three different pieces using the same fabric and yeah but I will let you guys know so let me go ahead and cut it and then We'll start sewing.